Sports Corner. It's often overlooked, but wind can play a huge role in how your wedge shots fly. Here's how to minimize its effect on your game. When you're playing downwind, position the ball back in your stance. Close the club face a little bit to make up for it and hit the shot as crisply as you possibly can. You're trying to produce a penetrating shot with a lot of backspin. This will make the ball fly lower to minimize the effect of the wind, but it'll still stop short of any trouble behind the green. Playing shots into the wind. Hit this shot with less loft. Use a 50 degree wedge or even go down to a seven iron and make an easy swing. Hitting it easy will produce a lower ball flight and less backspin than normal. Again, we want to minimize the wind effect. You should land the shot well short of the flag stick or even short of the green and let it release and roll up to the hole. This is a much more predictable way to play than hitting a high trajectory, high spinning shot directly at the pin. The question is crosswind. What do you do in the crosswind? Look, there are two important things to remember. Most golfers don't even think about it. In the first half of the shot trajectory, the ball is actually flying against the wind. You've got to hit more club on any shot with a crosswind than you would with no wind. Now the second half of the trajectory is with the wind, but the wind is not blowing it towards the target, it's blowing it to the right or to the left. It's sideways to the target. The ball will turn with the wind the whole way, including after it hits the ground. It's that last bounce and roll that often surprises golfers. I play most of my golf near home in Austin, Texas. You know, the wind can really kick up there. And I enjoy the challenge of adjusting my club selection and my alignment for it. If you take this advice to heart and remember, the wind affects all shots, not just the long ones.